Greetings to you all, my fellow Nigerians and other viewers. Hope you guys are doing fine and thank you so much for stopping by. So my people, as the issue of insecurity and high cost of living escalates, the Emir of Kano have sent warning to President Bola Ahmed Tinibu to resolve the issue of insecurity and starvation in the country. As we all know, a lot of Nigerians have lost their lives because of insecurity in the country and the government are failed in their duties to provide permanent solution and safety to Nigerians. And not just that, the level of hunger has increased because of high cost of goods and services in the country. So that is why the Emir of Kano has told the First Lady of Nigeria, Oluwe Mitinibu, to tell her husband to address hunger and insecurity in Nigeria. So I'm going to be giving you guys the news in full details but before I do so please please help us to like and share this video so that this video will be recommended to other people. Thank you. Now the news in full details it says the Emir of Kanu Ahaji Aminu Adubayeru have asked the first lady Miss Oluwe Mitinibu to convey his message to President Tinibu that the dead economic challenges are causing immense suffering including hunger and starvation among the masses. The Emir stated this during Ms. Tinibu's visit to Kanu on Monday to commission a multi-purpose hall at the Faculty of Law, Mayam Abasha American University, Kanu Campus. He said, Although we have several means of communicating to the government on our needs and requests, your way and means are the surest way to tell the president the actual happenings in the country. The Emir, who spoke through an interpreter, added, the hunger and starvation did not start with this government, but the situation has become more alarming and needs urgent attention. He also urged her to tell Tinibu to address insecurity, saying, The issue of insecurity is another serious problem we are facing. I know your government inherited it, but something more serious should be done to take care of the threats. The Emir of Kanu also spoke on the relocation of the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria, FAN, and some department of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, to Lagos. We are receiving series of messages from our people. One of such messages is the much talk about relocation of CBN and FAN to Lagos. I think the government should come out clean on this matter and talk to Nigerians in a language they would understand. According to the Emir, he said, Do more enlightenment on this matter. I for one cannot tell the actual intentions of the government. We should be made to actually understand the reasons behind the relocation of the CBN and fan offices to Lagos. In the same vein, he urged the president's wife to actualize our Renew Hope Initiative PET program, noting that the scheme is fully actualized with free the less privileged from their shackles. So my people, a lot of Nigerians has given their opinion on this matter which I'll be reading out for you guys. And the first person here said, If the foundation is messed up, what else do you expect? Buari messed up everything for eight years. This useless Emir saw it. He built University of Transportation, Idura. He did not have time for anything. He forgot national refineries and a back on private refinery of Dangote. The accumulation of all this is what we now experience. I think the president should open the borders to reduce the hardship. And the terrorists and bandits killing farmers all over the country and being shaded by the Emirates and Northern Edas slash Islamic scholars are Tinibu's creation too. This usurper and imposter of an Emir should just stop playing to the gallery. So my people, with the issue of this insecurity resurrected, especially in the north, the Emir of Kanu has not come out to say anything or done anything about it, despite the fact that a lot of people have lost their lives, though that is not to say that the federal government has not failed in their duties concerning insecurity and hardship in the country. Another person also gave his opinion saying, I wish Northerners were this vocal when they were in power, but beyond that, the truth remains, we have never had it this bad. Sadly, there is no ray of hope. The trajectory of our economic woes is scary. To those who still base their assessment on tribal settlement, you are more miserable than the state of things. So my people, what this person is saying is the truth. It's understandable that the hardship and the insecurity we are facing in Nigeria did not start in this administration, 
But if you also look at this administration, you see that President Bola Ahmed Tinibu and his team does not have anything to offer Nigerians. You see, the first mistake of this administration is increasing the price of fuel without any plans to mitigate these power consequences. And the sabotage by the foreign bandits and Boko Haram of farmers has devastated the economic well-being of Nigerians. But the government is overwhelmed and confused. Another person also voiced his opinion saying, What is different between Buhari and Tinibu? They are bed of same feather. Because of Tinibu's selfish interest, he was totally silent when Buhari was busy destroying the economy and the security. Buhari so many evil in this country. We shouldn't be sad about all of these things. We are part of it. Some of us sold our caution. Some of us just wanted Sun Sundrum dynasty to continue. So here we are, barely a year into a regime of a man who was silent when his people in Southwest were being kidnapped, murdered, raped under the regime of a man he sold us to. I'm not surprised. I never voted for him. I couldn't have. When Buhari was even releasing the arrested Boko Haram, bandits and Esme into the society, you guys kept quiet because of region and religion. Now you can suddenly speak, Abi. Nonsense. So, my people, it's a pity as blessed as Nigeria is. It's sad that Nigeria is being ruled by people that are less consigned or the welfare of its citizens and they are pretenders. The two major ways forward to end hunger are number one, bring down insecurity, or rather, end insecurity by force and by fire. Number two, bring down fair price. With above measures sincerely taking, prices of food. We come down. But it seems like Tinibu is fulfilling his campaign promise that it will start from where Buhari stopped, or like Buhari who did opposite of his campaign promises. At the end of the day, these people know what to do to put an end to this suffering in Nigeria. But because it is not affecting them or their families, they don't care because Nigerians are not priorities to them. It is only God that will save us in this country. So my people, that is it for you all. Please let me know your opinion in the comment section. And please, please help us to like and share this video so that this video will be recommended to other people. Thank you so much for your time. I'm <laughs> <laughs>